Welcome to Craftmaster Stainless. This is our quick start guide for your Kegernaut keg washer. In this video, we're going to do a brief overview of the electrical requirements and setup for your Kegernaut. Warning! Electrical work presents significant risk to one's health and safety. All electrical work should be performed by a licensed professional. The power supply required for your washer is a three-phase 208-240 volts. A L1530 30 amp wall outlet is needed to match the provided plug from the washer. Now a brief overview of the main electrical components located in the main control panel. If you look inside the main control panel, the breakers are going to be located along this top row. Make sure everything is set to the on position. You're now ready to turn on the unit. On the side of the main control panel, we have the main power switch. Horizontal position is off and vertical is on. For your three-phase unit, you'll need to check the polarity. To do this, let's head over to the operating control panel. Using the touch screen, look for the manual page button along the bottom. Press the button to switch to the manual page. Next, locate the pump icon at the top and press the gray square next to the icon to manually turn the pump on and off. Turn the pump on for a second and turn off quickly. Check the spin of the blades on the pump and make sure they correspond with the direction depicted on the sticker. If the pump is not spinning the correct direction, you will have to modify the wiring sequence in the electrical plug. Please refer to the manual or our how-to video. Thank you for watching this quick introduction to electrical requirements and setup for your Kegernaut washer. Join us in our next video where we will learn about the air and CO2 requirements and hookup for the Kegernaut. If you have any questions, please feel free to call us or visit our website at craftmasterstainless.com. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks again, and until next time, don't worry, brew hoppy.